and let me show that helix to you and uh, here it is can you see this it goes around the cylinder this is to the back of the cylinder and then on to the front that's p12 and this is final point one again it should be dark this is, should be dark the dimension should be dark and uh, this will reflect in my next slide here it is okay good evening students this is manas your friend and tutor and in today's session we are going to develop a hollow cylinder Sir, a hollow cylinder is very easy when you cut it open and lay it absolutely flat what we see is a rectangle uh, well this problem is not going to be that easy because here you have to deal with a helix on a cylinder let me show that helix to you and uh, here it is can you see this okay sir we can see something i think it would be better if i can just increase the transparency of the cylinder let me increase it to 90 percent and here you go now you can see the helix observe it much more convincingly see where the helix begins so it begins from the bottom most part okay and then it goes around the cylinder this is to the back of the cylinder and then on to the front of the cylinder and this pretty much finishes at the same spot although in one revolution it has made some axial advance that means it has traveled some vertical distance or parallel to the axis distance this is what is known as the pitch what we guys need to do is we need to cut this cylinder from this portion and then make it absolutely flat and do the drawing that is what you call the development and in that development you will observe how this red color helix would look like so this is going to be a very interesting problem i want all of you to stay with me right till the end so that you can explore the entire concept beautifully and let's go draw a helix of pitch equal to 50 millimeter upon a cylinder of 75 mm diameter and develop the surface of the cylinder assume the starting point to be on the vertical center line in the top view okay so the first thing to do is to you need to create the front and top views of a cylinder from where shall you begin should you start with the top view or the front view that is the first question first of all just try to imagine this there is a cylinder let's see it is resting on the ground on the hp okay we'll make the stone party it is resting on the hp let's say from where can you see the true shape of the base take a look at this now this is a cylinder which is resting on the hp from where can you see the true shape of the base sir the true shape of the base can be seen from the top therefore we are going to begin by creating the top view first and uh, let's go ahead and do it here we go let's start with the xy line let's make the circle and let's divide the circle into 12 equal parts you can go for eight parts also okay the process is same let me go for four divisions and now you can keep your protractor over here right at every 30 degrees 30 60 90 again 120 150 180 you can keep on marking those divisions so that you have got 12 divisions in total of this circle right each division is 30 degree by the way and this is something that you can accomplish very easily in less time using a protractor done sir sir what about the numbering the numbering starts from this very point please note assume the starting point to be on the vertical center line in the top view this is the top view and this is the vertical center line and the starting point is going to be here let me show this to you the helix begins right then it this is the front portion okay it is also gaining height simultaneously then it goes around the cylinder this is the back portion and then it comes to the front again but in that process it has gone for one revolution and it made some actual advance and that is what you call the pitch uh, it would be better if we can make the front view so what you need to do is you need to keep your drafter over here draw a line this way and then you need to keep your drafter over here draw a line this way keep your drafter over here draw a line this way i'm sure you've got a rough idea as to how to approach this sir why have you started from this this is one why didn't you start one from here the reason being very simple that we have been clearly instructed to assume the starting point to be on the vertical center line this is the vertical center line and that's where you need to begin okay that's why this has been marked as one and then we are going to anti-clockwise you can make a clockwise helix also you can go in this fashion also one two three four no problem okay sir what is the height of the cylinder nothing no information has been given to us well you can assume the height to be equal to the pitch right at least it should be equal to the pitch not lesser 
right so this dimension over here is nothing but the pitch of the helix or the height of the cylinder don't worry if it makes two revolutions what could happen sir well uh, i'll show that drawing also to you right at the end don't worry then again keep your drafter over here draw this vertical line all of these vertical lines in fact done sir very easy now as far as the creation of the helix is concerned please note that let me show you the helix once again this is the top view and that's the front view sir this portion is clearly visible to us from the front sir whereas this portion it goes around the cylinder this is the back portion won't be visible to us and again this is the front portion so if i were to draw this roughly it would be something of this sort sir this is going to be the front portion then this way agreed yes sir why am i making the dash line sir the reason is very simple because it's not visible it is at the back and then solid line again and it is going to end at the same spot okay although in this process it has gained some height which is popularly known as the pitch which in this problem is eventually 50 millimeters done so very easy now what now what you need to do is since you have divided this circle into 12 equal parts you have to divide this pitch also into 12 equal parts if you did eight divisions over here you can do eight divisions over here make sure the number of divisions are same both in the front and in the top view again what you need to do is you need to make use of a mini drafter how sir keep your drafter over here randomly draw a line okay any random line. don't worry at any angle don't worry at distances of equal distances of five millimeters keep on making points i am making arcs you can make points five mm first point second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine ten eleven twelve when you get the twelfth point align your scale or drafter along these two points aligned draw a line keep your drafter along this line tighten the screw bring it to this 11th point draw 10th point draw repeat the process for the remaining points until all of them have been exhausted done yes a very easy now keep your drafter in this horizontal vertical position tighten the screw bring it to this point draw a line this point draw a line keep on repeating the process until all the points have been exhausted done sir now what <coughs> now you've got to create the helix and it's very easy this is something that i've already taught in my other lectures based on spiral and helix curves okay they are already available on youtube and also on my application right how do you start so the first point is going to be right here that is going to be p1 sir this is p2 sir this is p3 sir this is p4 i am not going to writing i'm not going to be writing all the points okay otherwise this space will become crowded I'm going to refrain from that. That's P5. That's P6, sir. That's P7. That's P8. That's P9. That's P10. That's P11. That's what? P11. And uh, that's no, 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 no. Where is P11? That is not P11. Let me make this correction. That's P11. That's P12. And this is final point one again. Okay, right at the top. So this way you can create the helix. It would look something like this solid portion hidden portion solid portion okay helix created now the next task is to create the development okay sir uh, let's say we are going to cut it open through through this okay from the front we are going to cut it and lay it absolutely flat how does the helix look that is what we are interested in. can be done easily um, when you cut it open this width is equal to pi d what is pi d sir this is 75 into pi 75 into pi that means 75 into 3.14 i mean uh, if you do this into a calculator 75 pi this is going to work out as 235.619 that is 235.62 yes sir agreed okay so make this line that is equal to pi d that is 235.62 done sir no problem as you can see this length is 235.62 okay isn't it that is what we have made it over here since you can see this has been divided into 12 equal parts this line also will be divided into 12 equal parts the process is very simple this is something that we've learned already take this point draw a line any angle not to worry okay at equal distances of 10 millimeter keep on making points one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12. Done. With the help of a mini drafter, connect these two points. Done, sir. Make sure your drafter is aligned along these two points or this line. Tighten the screw. Bring it to this 11th point. 10th point. Keep on repeating the process. Okay. You'll end up having this line divided into 12 equal parts now you can start the numbering from 1 2 3 12 and back to 1 very easy make this vertical line sir what is the length equal to the pitch what is the pitch sir equal to 50 millimeters done now what <coughs> make use of a drafter keep it horizontal vertical position bring it to this very point draw a line okay here we go then bring it to this point again draw a line you can make the remaining lines i'm sure and again with the help of a drafter you can make these vertical lines also right very easy okay sir time to have all of these points from the front view into the development of cylinder this is going to be fun sir last let's start with point number one point one right here this is point two it is over to point two point two over three you've got point three over four that is point four sir this is point five sir this is point six okay and this is going to be point seven that's point eight that's point nine that's point ten that's point eleven that's point twelve and back to point one but this is the point one at the top this is point one at the bottom you can also write this down as p1 dash also just to make a distinction all right okay sir so far so good now when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have is a straight line the helix in fact in the development looks like a straight line a perfect straight line okay so this is something that was asked in the question and if you can make this drawing i am going to definitely give you seven marks out of ten why three marks have been deducted the reason is very simple because you haven't given any dimensions all the dimensions given in the problem should reflect in your drawing where are they yes sir the drawings i mean the dimensions are not marked so let me do that this is 50 and sir this is pi d and this is 75 basically the diameter so i have written it as in the in the radius form okay 37.5 done now i am going to give you nine marks out of ten why do i see a deduction of one mark the reason is very simple because i mean uh, there is no shading as such when i say shading the construction work has to be very very light barely visible okay whereas the helix portion should be dark this outline should be dark this outline should be dark this should be dark the dimension should be dark and uh, this will reflect in my next slide here it is okay if we can make this drawing you are definitely going to go get a 10 on 10 look at the darkness look at the thickness wonderful dimensioning everything the pencil work 3h 4h pencil use it for construction and for making these outlines use the edge pencil okay so this is how you can attempt your problem so one more thing one more thing uh, in the beginning of the lecture you said if there are two revolutions let's say what would happen in that case if there are two revolutions then there is going to be 50 plus 50 50 plus 50 would make 100 okay one revolution uh two revolution right overlapped nothing else everything remains same okay i think this was a rather easy question and this was sent to me by one of my uh, students her name is ruchi she actually sent me this problem uh why the chat box in my application if you if you've got a problem which you are unable to solve based on engineering drawing or even engineering mechanics you can send it to me okay directly via the chat box on my application the link to which can be found in the description down below don't uh, don't worry right your problems will be resolved and if possible i'll send a solution to you directly or if i find that problem to be very challenging i'll definitely make a video on it right so yeah uh, please allow me to tell you something else as far as the courses which are running on my application so there is this engineering drawing course i mean students across the length and breadth of india from different states from different universities have enrolled in this course well the most number of students are from gujarat maharashtra tamil Nadu, and especially jntu okay these uh, are the students who take this course uh, enroll in my courses of engineering drawing 
although any student who has engineering drawing or graphics in their syllabus can enroll in these courses the lectures have been made separately in hindi and in english so you don't have to worry the notes are there for you the multiple choice questions mcqs are there for you to attempt there are so many things uh, i'm sure once you enroll in these courses you will benefit a lot and your outlook towards solving problems on engineering drawing or creating these drawings is going to take a giant giant leap so that was about engineering drawing if you want to enroll in engineering mechanics also there is a course which i have created okay your university could be anything i mean you could be a student from any university across india or abroad the syllabus that i have crafted will work for you don't worry and by the way you can already you can check out the contents uh, you can check out the chapters which i have made videos on so the videos are there for you the notes are there for you it's just that you need to enroll in these courses and start learning as soon as possible don't be late whenever your session begins okay pick your mind enroll in these courses they are going to benefit you a whole lot and uh, you know my way of teaching it's very animated and uh, it's it's very intuitive so it is going to benefit you a whole whole lot right all right and uh, these lectures on engineering mechanics also separately have been made in english and hindi so you don't have to worry if there is a language problem if you if you have difficulty understanding english koi dikkat ki baat nahi hindi mein bhi lectures hain sab dekh loge samajh jaoge right so guys yes that was all from my side for today if you find this content helpful do like the video and share with as many friends as you can and with your classmates so that they can also benefit do subscribe to the manas patnaik channel and press the bell icon so that whenever i upload any video you are notified thank you very much this is manas patnaik signing off take care